All right. What we have here is a 1937 Canadian Hayes motorhome, motor coach, trailer that uh, we're going to sell. This trailer spent its first year on the road with its original owner, who died after one year of traveling, and his kids could not part with it. So the trailer ended up spending the next 58 years in heated, dry storage in Canada. Now, the second owner, a gentleman by the name of Barry Weiss, you might know him from Storage Wars, bought this trailer from the original owner's kids and brought it down to Los Angeles, where it sat in his business for about five years until such time that I purchased the trailer. And I got the trailer back in about 2001, and it spent its entire life in the San Diego Automotive Museum. That's the water fill, brass cap water fill. You've got the electricity plug. But uh, so this trailer spent 10 years in the Automotive Museum in Balboa Park. We've recently relocated it to a storage facility that they're going to tear down. So we've made this decision, the family's made the decision to go ahead and offer the trailer for sale. It's extremely rare. Um, one of the top trailer aficionados in the United States who now lives in Canada, it just so happens, said that uh, of these deco style trailers, he would rate this in the top 20. And he's been in the business for 25 years. So these were used, this was the way, this was pre-motorhomes. This was was having a good time back in 1937, 38, 39, pre-war. It's in pristine condition. The interior still has all the original Philippine mahogany, which has been, uh, which has been, which has been maintained and it is in perfect condition. Show us how the uh, oh, yeah. hitch works. Okay, and then the hitch. You can actually, you pull the lower pin, you pull this pin out, and the entire, the entire screw assembly comes off the trailer. It's the old original two-inch ball. Looks like original wiring over the two. Yeah, original. It's all, well, I think that's probably, I don't know. It could be. How much was it used? I don't know. Oh, well, one year. One year? One year. It was and on the, the road for one, one year. One year, and then the guy passed away. You can see the inside, the copper work on the door. So the door is entire, all copper? Copper, yes. And then as you'll see inside the screen, it's actually brass. Looks like velvet. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that might have been a little very And the screen is, the screen is, is a brass. brass? Brass or copper? I mean, it's Looks hard like to brass. Tell. It's could gold? be brass. So yes, it's the original screen, and the signage is still from the museum. So that there's literally there's no rust. No. No, there's no, a model same. number or something. Yeah, th this was the deluxe. Two, two, four, this was seven, the deluxe. Three, this was the top of the line Hayes trailer. They called it like a Super Commando or something. I, it was the best one Hayes built in the year. Then inside, you can see, it's all got still the uh, original Philippine mahogany. Like I said, 58 years in heated storage. So this thing is in pristine, original condition. All the old lamps, little drawers. You can. There's a write-up on it right there. That actually, that was the write-up. This was uh, one of the featured trailers at the Peterson Automotive. Or, the Peterson Museum had a show on trailers about a year ago, and they brought this up to the Peterson for display. So that's a quick write-up about that. But uh, this was quite the way to travel back uh, in the day. Actually, you get out of your way. I think you probably want to call attention to the stove and all the metal work and the bright work there. The metal, the metal in this is just amazing. So it's this a nickel-plated stove set in a copper backfield. So it's setting on copper and copper behind it. This and this must be a little 
could have been a little storage. Catch or? or? I don't know. Could have been storage for, you know, any kind of stuff. I know you have some original, like an old ashtray. There's some stuff here from the 50s. You know, let me see. This is uh, in the trailer. So you've got one of the original Grand Canyon. So this is a flags. buddy. I just know that it's <sighs> the Pear Avenue Tin Shop. It's 75 years old and it's in pristine condition. All original Philippine mahogany. And, stuff. and this is the sink? Does that open up? Yep, there's a sink in there. Let's see. A little sink. All porcelain? Yep. And running water. And running water and electricity. electricity in 1937. Yeah, very have, unique latches. Yeah, then you have uh, and the hinges. Yeah, oh, yeah, these are all, all the original hardware still here. Beautiful because it was in dry storage, this has never suffered any water damage. Water it was damage. in a museum, you said, for a well, while. It was in dry storage for 58 years. It was, a, it was indoors at, at Barry Weiss's. Um, produce place for I think five years and then I purchased it and it was indoors for another decade at the San Diego Automotive Museum in Balboa Park. I believe Barry put that fan in. This is the original cook stove. Oh my gosh. So it's a pump pressure. You yeah. put the fuel, yeah. the you pump it, yeah. lantern fuel in here and you pump the pressure like your old cook stove. Yep. Camp that's, stove. That's the original stove, the original Coleman from 1937. Excellent shape. So, look at this wood, it's all laminated. It's all Philippine mahogany, everything. So that is, you know. Cutting board. Oh, it even has a remote control. I doubt, <laughs> I, I seriously doubt that, that that remote control was here when the, when the thing was new. I'm just trying to get this to close. I think Jim was moving this. We'll do that later. Okay. Does close. I just had it. So we got. Closed. And you just got storage. A little letting etched glass. Mm -hmm. A little wine cabinet or whatever. Liquor cabinet. Beautiful. And that's a refrigerator? What's that? A, ref a refrigeration box or a freezer? It'd be a freezer, probably, huh? Yes. Oh, it's, it's got a refrigeration unit in it. Yeah. There we go. Now we're back in business. I knew that that. Got a refrigeration unit. And then you've wow, got this, then this look is at the closed. wood on that. Yeah, and then you've got this. This is closed now. And the floor? This floor is the old original 1937, uh, like a linoleum. You've probably seen linoleum like this in your old grandmother's house if she's never taken it up. And then this folds actually, into a now, bed. Huh? Yeah, they actually it's a pull out. Great, great grandmother's house. Yeah, that pulls out into a bed as well as back here. That, that table comes out, and then these. Can, it can come across, and that also can become a bed back there. So that's, wow. So that's and it. the rarity, you say there's... Uh, there's probably only... There's 1930s or Art Deco era trailers. Um, this would be right in the top 20 in the United States today. And that, that came... That's a quote from a guy that does nothing but vintage trailers. High dollar vintage trailers. And he's been in the business for 25 years. What a beauty. That's it. What a showpiece, huh? Yeah, it is. Somebody will really enjoy this, that's for sure. They can't you won't find another one like this.